In this first tutorial, we're going to show you a, bit, a little bit about creating shape files for a map. Uh, shape files they're going to contain either points, lines, or polygons uh, representing features on your map. And we're going to do something called georeferencing, where we're referencing a base layer map as satellite imagery to lo know the exact locations of where those are at. So when you do this, the first thing you have to do is know the uh, projection and the coordinate system that your current map is. So if you look at our current map, we're in uh, Seattle here. You can see Quest Field as well as Safeco Field. And we are going to be uh, georeferencing some roads in here, the railroad. We'll look as well as at the, uh, the stadiums to do our polygons, as well as some point features in here as well. So. Uh, first thing we're going to do when you do this is you got to find out what uh, coordinate system and projection is being used. So if you right click on layers and go down to properties, this will bring up the coordinate system for your current layer. So you can see that it's the WGS 1984 Web Mercator mm -hmm. Auxiliary Sphere. So if we go through and create new files, we've got to make sure that we use that same projection and same coordinate system. So we'll click OK come back to here and now we're going to click on catalog. If I click on catalog <coughs> you can see that I've created a file folder under uh, my ArcGIS files. This is under my folder connections. Again your files should go to a specific location where they're always referenced from. And I want to create a, uh, a new shape file. So uh, again if you're unfamiliar you can create a new folder and that's where I created my new folder. And Now under Seattle, Seattle's where I want to create the new shape file. I will right click, click new item, and I'm going to put this on the screen so you can see it. If I go again, right click here, new, and then shape file. You can see that there's several different folders or uh, geo databases, layers, shape files. We're going to start off with just simple shape file. So we'll click uh, this one and we're going to name this. Now realize you can do <coughs> uh, point polyline and polygon, those are the three three main ones that we'll be working with here. And let's just say that I'm going to start off with uh, <coughs> uh, stadiums. So I'm going to, my first one's going to be for stadiums, and since that's a polygon rather than a specific point, we'll do that there. Now you can see that currently we have an unknown coordinate system, so I'm going to edit that. <coughs> I'm going to select one, and you'll find that for this base map that we have, projected coordinate system and we go into world and then all the way over almost the last one the web mercator auxiliary sphere that's the, the one that we want and so I click add and I click OK and OK again now this is over here created my stadium <coughs> stadium shape file if you had the incorrect projection and coordinate system it would give you a warning knowing that you're not in the same projection and warning system uh, a warning will come up to let you know that you're not in the correct one. So uh, now that's with stadiums <clears throat> and I can go through and I can create um, another one for uh, shape file polyline and we'll call this transportation. This will be our road systems and railroads and again we've got to create a New, uh, create the projection system right here. Click Add, OK. And thirdly, right click, click New Item, Shape File, and we'll do a point file. And we'll just do simply trees. OK, point, we'll edit that. <coughs> and we're going to select our projection system one more time. Pardon me, I used the wrong one. We need to use the world. I'll go over here to add that one. Okay. So, as you can see over here, under Seattle, I now have stadiums, transportation, and trees. And again, when you close this, if you hit X, it completely goes away. You can pin it back um, into the system there. And under layers here, now on top of the base map, we have stadiums, transportation, and trees. And you and so from there, we will work after that with actually editing and uh, modifying these files.